Welcome to Nomad PHP Lightning Talks. I'm Joe Ferguson. Nomad PHP Lightning Talks are 10-minute talks that give a high-level overview or an in-depth look at a small portion of a PHP-related topic. Lightning Talks are a great way for new speakers to build their speaking resume and for longtime speakers to test drive new talk ideas. If you'd like to give a 10-minute Lightning Talk, please email me, joe at nomadphp.com. Right now, we have Damien Segay, and he's going to talk about static analysis in general. Please make sure you visit Join Den after the talk and leave Damien some feedback. Damien, take it away. Okay, thank you, Joe, and thank you for hosting me. Uh, welcome, everyone, for this uh, this lightning talk. Um, I've, I've been famous. Well, maybe you know my name, but I've been famous for giving like two hours lightning talk. So I hope uh, tonight I'm going to spend a, a little less time than that. And especially this is uh, the static analysis is a subject that I spend a lot of time every day on. So. Um, it's important to me that I, I mean I can I can spend a lot of time talking about it. So um, for all the things I've been known is I've been doing PHP on different uh, continents, and especially I work in China. Uh, that's where I got the idea of working on that kind of tools. Um, China is actually a very strange market. Uh, if you have uh, any uh, experience uh, with them, they both uh, use very uh, advanced technology, so everything that is brand new, and they also like to use uh, you know, discipline that's dating like 20 years ago. So um, when you have to, to lead a, a pack of 20 or 60 developers, um, they like to, to tell you that uh, they will do something, but they usually don't. So um, at that point, when you, you're, you're the CTO and you have to review the code all the time, then you realize that you need a tool to go faster. And that's, that's one of the main uh, driver for uh, uh, in dwelling into uh, static analysis, and the second uh, aspect was uh, this little uh, voice you have when when you write PHP code or code in general. Um, you know that you're writing a, an interesting part of the component you're working on, but in the same time, you keep up those little voices in the back of your head um, asking you, uh, "Is it the right way to write to do uh, the code I'm, I'm supposed to do?" Um, is it is it fast enough, or or if it's fast, then is it secure, or uh, will it be compatible with PHP seven, or maybe um, do I have to do some backward compatibility or whatever? Um, there are always those those nagging questions, and uh, you never have time to go back to it. So what what do you think would be great if you can have time to review the code you're working on, or maybe have the help of someone else? Uh, to do that kind of review, and and that would be uh, someone who's always available. That's probably the root idea of static analysis. There are different uh, definitions for static analysis. Um, one of them is uh, doing some uh, so well, checking the code without executing it. That's the, probably the most uh, common one. So um, that's exactly the state you are when you've done you're done writing PHP code. And you're not, uh, you're at the point where you want to go to a unit test or testing or even manual test. So, but you don't want to set up the whole environment. You just want to review the code and maybe uh, find ways to uh, make it better. So that's one of the idea. Um, if you think about it this way, then it probably looks like some code review. Uh, until now, we've been always doing some code review with uh, other people. So you ask for, uh, peer, you ask for a, a panel of experts at your company or at your project to review the code, um, read it, uh, think about it, its purpose, its goals, uh, its constraints, and then give you a, a educated uh, feedback on how you can make it better. So that would be code review. Here, static analysis will deal with uh, compute will be done by computer. So instead of uh, requesting time from someone else, then you can just run it as as a tool, and the tool is going to to give you some feedback, some completely uh, objective and and uh, and sentimental uh, feedback on, on what you write. Finally, uh, static analysis is sometimes uh, described as the contrary of dynamic analysis, uh, which is the one that's happening when you're running the code and using data with it. So static analysis, just keep the code without running it, just as it is, like 
even using symbols instead of actual data and the variables. Dynamic analysis will actually take a few data, run it into the code, and check if the result is what is, what is expected. In the end, my best definition is that it's an extra layer of PHP compilation. Uh, if you think about it, just like on this magnificent uh, slide, uh, your code is just a text file. It's, it's a bunch of characters next to each other that PHP will actually uh, look at and analyze and, and understand. It will turn it into the red uh, square of opcode, and from there you can execute it. Um, but in between, what we would like to do is to have some extra compilation check. And let me give you an example of, 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 um, of compilation check you can, you can have. This is PHP code that is not working seven. So, up the five, have several defaults into a switch which is useless, of course, because the first default will always be uh, the one uh, executed, and then the second one will always be ignored. And until PHP 7, we could have two of them. Uh, they could be on the code for a long time and never be um, fixed or changed or whatever. Now PHP 7 has an extra check, and it will tell you that uh, this is not possible and you have to, to fix the code. Now, this is good for, for default, and you understand it's kind of easy to, to check. So that's, uh, that's the first level of static analysis, if you want. But wouldn't it be nice if we could do the same for the Ks, right? Uh, look at all those Ks. Um, if, you, if you understand that a switch is actually using a double equal um, comparison with $x variable, then all the cases you have here are the same. PHP will just say, okay, if x is 1, maybe a string, a, a real, a boolean, or even if $y is, uh, is 1, then all of those cases will be the same. Now, PHP is, at, at the moment is not checking that all those expressions will be the same and are actually identical. We could do that with um, quest static analysis that <clears throat> could read just the code, understand it, and then signal us or alert us that something is wrong with this switch because all the cases are the same. So how does static analysis work in general before we actually uh, go into a few details and a few examples of uh, actual engines we have uh, available in PHP? Well, we start, as we mentioned, uh, from the files. So just plain PHP code. And there is a first phase, which is this uh, little gear, where um, at least um, uh, the AST is built, and AST is the abstract syntactic tree. So this is um, uh, breaking the PHP, the PHP file into different tokens, and then rebuilding the structure that PHP can understand. You can see on the tree below, you understand there is a, there is a file which has a number of classes next to each other, and they have all of them different definitions and different names. So <clears throat> from there, from the AST, which is a semantically interesting and understandable uh, tree, everything is stored, maybe in database or just in memory, for further analysis. At that point, um, the system is capable of understanding what is PHP code. They're just reading it like a, a field file, but it can understand where, is it, where are the classes, the functions, how they relate one to each other. We just need things to uh, find in the code. This is where you have to understand and you have to, you need a, a reference. So references may be um, security reference, things you should not do in your code because it's uh, unsafe. That could be um, just your, your best practices for um, your, your project. That may be um, performances, uh, best practices, things like that. From there, you have the analysis, you have the code that is uh, into, um, into a possible uh, form, and then you get a result. So instead of, of being so general, I, I suggest we take a look at a few of them, uh, a few, of the, a few um, things you can do with static analysis. Uh, coding conventions is probably the uh, archetype of static analysis because you just read the code and tells you that you should put some spaces around the HIG wall or not. Oh, this um, this function is too long. Um, 
performance and security are something uh, also very uh, very common. It will focus on which part of the code is unsafe. Um, metrics is an important um, a source of, um, of uh, static analysis because it will just give you ideas of where the code should be improved. And this is my first example. Uh, PHP Metrics is a typical static analysis tool um, that will just swallow the code and tell you uh, where are the complex uh, functions or methods that should be uh, broken down and, and moved into something simpler to, to, uh, to maintain. Or maybe also uh, it will give you ideas of uh, a maintainable code. So just give it your, your repository and it will give you a very interesting um, interface with all those information broken down either by file or by classes or by namespaces. Um, another one that's really interesting and <laughs> I like the, the fact that it's actually kind of frightening is the fan. Uh, which is PHP uh, Static Analyzer from Rasmus initially, and that's now currently uh, developed at Etsy. Um, that will uh, prepare, um, check the code for common mistakes in the in PHP uh, development, and uh, tell you, especially if it's ready for PHP 7. So here you can read all of those examples of uh, the file name, the line number, and the problem that the fan has detected. So, there's a very short list that was on my own code. I think I got 700 different feedbacks. Lots of them are very interesting. It also has a number of, uh, of false positives, which is typical from a static analysis. Next one is PHP 7 more, and, and this one is very interesting. I mentioned earlier that um, most of the time um, the static analyzer will, will build an AST, a uh, static analysis tree, and uh, give you um, the information from there, uh, PHP 7 actually works with regex. So that's uh, both interesting because it's very fast, say 25 seconds. It still gives you some uh, in, in from, uh, compatibility information uh, for uh, PHP uh, 7 migration and it's relying only on regex. Anyway, so if you want to prepare for PHP 7 migration, that's an interesting one. Finally, um, I will give you a few uh, things that we also do with uh, Exacat, uh, my company. Um, we, we do inventories. So inventories is reading the code and making sure that um, you know, collecting all the information, for example, um, the features that are being used in PHP. So here you can, you can see a uh, part of the features being used by Composer, PHP features. Um, I, I was actually surprised they use Goto, but this is uh, something you can you can read from there. And just adding the full list of features is often very uh, intriguing, and you can guess a number of things from the actual quality of the code just by reading the features being being available. Um, another one here is the list of bug fix. So every time there's a PHP minor version. Um, the static analyzer is able to take a look at the code, see which of the functions are, are being used in the code, are they impacted in any version, and then you have a full detail of, <coughs> of what, um, what could impact your code. So that's all automated and very interesting to us. Finally, um, graphs, uh, graphics, and, and this is a, a presentation of uh, the namespaces being used in, in Composer and gathered by different um, uh, namespaces and sub-namespaces. So I'll finish with, um, with, uh, with that, or add a few of extra ideas to follow up. Um, how do you use it? How do you use it for fin to, to finish? Um, well, the first thing you can use it is um, as someone uh, who is going to uh, help you all the time. So it's always available, you run it, you can learn about PHP things, and sometimes it will just report something that you're not used to. Just take a look and you'll learn something about PHP. Um, it's also going to be able to search the code for the boring things that you don't want to look for. So we mentioned static um, code, code sniffer for, for coding conventions, but if you want to check coupling within, between classes, you don't want to do the search for yourself. You just want to assess if the coupling is good or not, but don't don't search it for yourself. It's a lot of work and it's boring. And it's also um, uh, interesting when you want to uh, just get rid of the two easy uh, code reviews, uh, because most of the static analyzer will be very systematic and they will give you all the uh, easy checks. 
And everything that is more abstract is probably good to be done with uh, some, some humans. And this is something important. Um, we're not delegating the whole uh, understanding and review of the code to some you know, automated system. We are just, um, just saving the, the boring parts and keeping the good part for us. Um, this is the, thing, the link with, of everything I've mentioned earlier, so I won't spot. And thank you. If you have time, uh, please review my talk um, on the joined in link that's at the bottom. Thank you. Thanks for joining us for another Nomad PHP Lightning Talk. If you'd like to give a Lightning Talk, please email joe at nomadphp.com. Please make sure you visit joined in and leave Damien some feedback. Thanks.